Yeah, I mean it's a it's a work in progress for sure. He's a, he's an amazing player, as everybody knows. Um, it's a little bit different style than playing with Sid for sure, but um, it's it's definitely a positive thing. Um, he's not a hard guy to play with, as um, I'm sure a lot of guys have, have said in the past. So I'm excited for the opportunity. Aon. Jason, when you came from Minnesota in the trade, you seemed to fit in so seamlessly with the Mike Sullivan system all over the rink. Um, how much now, especially looking back, can you value that going into the playoffs? Because it wasn't many games, but it, but it, it probably felt like it now, right? Yeah, I mean, it, it seems like um, it was it was a weird time for the layoff because I felt like I was getting more comfortable in the system. Um, you know, and then, and then you have, you know, all these months. So it was nice, uh, to be able to study the system a little bit while, um, while we were away to, to stay sharp on it. Um, but overall, I, I mean, I, I, I love the system. I think it does fit um, my game very well. Uh, I'm excited to, you know, be playing in this system and, and to, to learn it a little bit better. Um, and now learn it a little bit more playing alongside, um, Malkin and Rusty. Mike DeFabo. Hey, Jason. Uh, I'm curious, um, how prepared do you feel going into this training camp after phase two? And how prepared do you think you're going to be going into then obviously phase four of the bubbles? Yeah, I mean, I feel great. Um, I think the team looks great right now. We did, uh, you know, everybody was working really hard in, in phase two. And um, the smaller groups are obviously a little bit tougher to, um, to simulate game style systems and um, situations. But um, phase three will be good for that. And it'll be good for us to be able to um, continue this for another couple of weeks before we get head uh, head out to Toronto. Seth, uh, Jason, just after four months, how good did it feel just to have a practice? Uh, you know, I know you had some of the informal sessions here last month or so, but they actually have an organized, structured practice with the full group, or almost the full group. Uh, yeah, just it was great. yeah, yeah, it was it was great. It feels good to be out there. Um, you know, the first one's always a little bit hard, a little bit tough uh, when once you're getting back into it, but. Um, I thought it was great. It felt really good to be out there with the guys and um, being, you know, the the team like setting. Um, so I thought that was really good. Mike, Jason, you're another guy who has a family. Obviously, um, curious your thoughts on the possibility of maybe being away from them for up to five weeks before the families join the team um, for the conference finals. Yeah, you know, it, it's definitely. Um, you know, the, the preference is obviously always to be with my family. Um, I love having them around. I miss the kids. I miss my wife. Um, but it's a small price to pay to, uh, you know, be able to compete for a Stanley Cup. So, um, you know, I know my wife's got it locked down at home. She's um, she's a rock star. She's got the kids all all settled and everywhere they need to go. So, um, you know, she makes sure that I can just focus on hockey and um, she's got the rest covered at home. So um, it's definitely tough being away from them, but um, it's something that, we, we have to do and we have to, to manage within ourselves and within our families and uh, make it work because, you know, it, it's uh, a very important time of year. Jenna? Is it kind of complicated to balance all of this in terms of, you know, the obvious excitement to return and to be back on the ice, but, you know, at the same time, there's so much seriousness and severity going on with everything that's happening right now in the world? Well, I mean, I think a lot of guys would say that, that, the ice is our safe haven. You know, it's our place that we can go and, um, you know, be kids again almost. And, um, you know, we take it very seriously, as as you all know. But at the same time, we're having fun out there. And I think that's what's very special about this group. We have fun battling um, against each other. Um, we have fun playing games, you know, in this group and, and battling for each other out there. And and so I think we carry a, a, a spirit, but a very serious one as well. And, and making sure that we're getting the job done, but having fun while we're doing it. Uh, Sean Gentile. Hey, Jason, you mentioned those informal sessions. Uh, what were those like? How beneficial were they? And did, did you feel like any of that paid off maybe with the start of uh, phase three today? Yeah, I think it's, I think it's good to, uh, to get the skill sessions in. And, um, you know, obviously, like I said, it's tough to have game simulated sessions. But, um, um, you know, overall, it's good just to get the skills in and, um, you know, play some games. Seth? Uh, Jason, Mike Sullivan's talked about uh, having you guys do a lot of uh, video meetings with, with uh, you know different concepts and things like that. 
Uh, what's it been like amongst the guys, amongst the boys, in terms of you know, just communicating during this four months, whether it's phone calls, text chains, what have you? Um, what have you guys been, what has that dynamic been like the last four months? Yeah, you know, it's um, definitely not as much as it is typically during a season, but, you know, we try to keep in touch with the guys and keep it lighthearted and have some fun and, um, you know, keep in touch as much as we can. Sean, do you have another one? <laughs> no, I just don't know how to work with WebEx. My bad. <laughs> no worries. Uh, Seth, do you have one last question? Uh, yeah, last one, Jason. Uh, just um, how key has been Sid's involvement in keeping you guys all connected throughout this four months here? Um, it's been good. I mean, we've had you know conversations as far as um, the group goes after some of our team meetings, and um, again, it's not as as much as a typical. Um, in-season setup, but um, it was good to keep in touch with the guys as much as we could.